Topping the news at 10 tonight, family and friends come together to remember a Memphis mother of eight who was shot and killed. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Shay Arthur. Investigators believe the woman's boyfriend is responsible. WREG's Jordan James was the only reporter at a vigil tonight. He joins us now live in the studio with how Marquisha Thomas's loved ones are coping with her death. Jordan, I can imagine this was very emotional. Yes, Shay, as you would imagine, this loss hits close to home for many of them on a weekend that is supposed to be filled with joy has turned into sorrow for those who knew and loved Marquisha Thomas. The banks of the Mississippi River. Awesome. Loved ones have come together to remember Marquisha Thomas. She was always 10 toes down. A, a piece of me left when my little sister left, for real. Couldn't do nothing but cry. The mother of eight was killed last week when police say her boyfriend Byron Pipkin shot her and dragged her body into the garage and drove off. They don't know when they take a loved one, they don't know how much it really hurt to lose my only daughter I had. Prior to Marcus Briscoe's child being taken away, he says the warning signs were there and his deepest fear came true last week. I had told her, I said, if a man beating on you and pulling guns on you sooner or later, he gonna kill you and I'm gonna have to bury you. And it went just like I see it. Pipkin ended up being arrested after a tip led officers to a South Memphis motel where they took him into custody. Get out. Please get out. If he fighting you, pulling guns on you, get out the relationship because sooner or later, like I told my daughter, he is going to kill you. Despite what led up to her death, loved ones are choosing to remember her as the light in which she was. It's about the kids, and I just want everybody to stay in good spirits and, you know, love everybody while they're here. And Pipkin has been charged with first degree murder, among other charges. A gun GoFundMe has been set up to support the family during this time. You can find those details on our website. In studio, Jordan James, WREG, News Channel 3.